Hey YouTubers, I uh, just want to give a little tip on what I found out with this Ashley um, 5790, I believe is the model number. I bought this unit used um, as a demo unit at a local uh, hardware store. Got a, what I thought was a great deal on it. Um, read a lot of reviews after I bought it and became a little concerned that uh, maybe I made a mistake. Uh, when I installed the unit, uh, she would run uh, for probably maybe five minutes and then the glass up front would soot up and uh, the fire would darken down, the auger would stop and she'd shut right off. If I turned it back on um, and reset it, it would go through the process, uh, fire back up and within five or seven minutes, something like that, it would shut back off again. Couldn't figure out what was going on. I messed with the uh, the damper lever, which is in the back there, just above that black uh, air intake, and that didn't do any good. Um, so after doing some searching on the internet, I realized that this thing is probably filthy dirty. Um, I ended up taking off the side covers to the um, heat exchangers, which are, which is that right there. Um, I'll show you, I'll take off the, open up the side panel here. Take that off. There's a whole bunch of uh, ash in there, just a ton of it. And there's one on the other side. Just simply take those two screws out, scoop out the ash, put it back together. Um, the next thing I did, that this is the pressure switch right here. Um, I disconnected this silicone hose. And I saw on the internet where if you uh, suck a little air through it, you'll hear it click. And they warn you to do it gently, otherwise you could ruin the uh, pressure switch. Uh, mine clicked, and then I disconnected it on this end, and I pushed air through. I opened up the front door, and I could feel um, air coming through there very easily when I blew through it. So I, I knew that was okay. Um, my next step was on the exhaust motor. Um, I took it apart, there's like five bolts, one here, and you'll see the other one back there, five bolts, take those off, disconnect the wires, there's four of them, one, two, three, and four, um, I snapped the picture just to make sure that I put the wires back on the right way, because I tend to screw that stuff up, um, took the motor off, got my compressor going, blew out the fins, everything was dirty in there, very sooty. But the main thing that I found was, I, this is some sort of exhaust temperature sensor, I guess. Um, on the instruction manual, it shows uh, fresh air intake sensor. It's right here, number nine. Um, so anyway, I took that off. Two screws here and here. And on the inside is just like a little chrome disc. And it was very thick with soot. And I cleaned that off, got a little solvent, and just rubbed it and rubbed it and rubbed it until it was clean. Put it back on and fired up the furnace or the uh, stove. And since then, everything is working fine. Um, it's been running for hours. Um, I haven't had any other issues. Also, I forgot to mention before I cleaned that sensor off, my uh, panel here. I couldn't get it to go from manual to thermostat because it wasn't running long enough. There's a, a program where this thing has to run X amount of time. Your fan will kick on high if you have it at high temp here like I do. And then after maybe 10 or 15 minutes, you're able to switch this from manual to thermostat. At that point, you can change your temperature. For example, if I want to go 37 degrees, It'll flash four times, and then it'll go back to the ambient temperature in the room, which it's really cold here in Michigan, so my little pole barn here I'm trying to heat um, is, is pretty cold. So that's pretty simple there, nothing to it. Um, another thing I found out through trial and error, and again, I'm no expert. This is my first pellet stove. I don't know crap about these things. Um, when you open this door, of course, it shuts it off, shuts the stove off, and you have to go and uh, turn it back on with the on-off button. Um, 
this morning when I got on, got in here, and I just bought this stove yesterday, um, I couldn't get it to, uh, I couldn't get the auger to turn. I hit the on off button and nothing was going on. I could hear the exhaust fan running, um, but no glow from the glow plug in there and no auger turning. And I thought, crap, what, what now? Um, I opened the door here and there's a switch right here, a little lever that shuts the thing off when you open the door. Well, it is so loose in there. The last time I opened and closed it, it moved that little switch or a little spring switch right here, moved it over. And so it wasn't depressing, allowing the stoves to start. So all it took was me to open this door, move that switch a quarter of an inch, and it was now able to depress. And it seems to be running fine now. Um, I don't seem to be getting a whole lot of heat out of out of the heat exchanger here. The fan is on high. Uh, I got a big flame. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. I bought these uh, easy heat pellets. I think they're crap. I, I, I did some research and uh, after I bought them, of course, there's uh, my smart move again. And people online don't have a whole lot of good to say about easy heat wood pellets. Um, so I don't know if that's it. You know, the damper, another weird thing about this. I mean, that air is just being, ambient air from this room is being sucked in right here. The damper is actually all the way closed. If I open it, say, even halfway, you'll notice a change in the flame. Let's just sit here and watch this a second. I mean, we got a healthy flame. You can see it starting to diminish. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I sure can. So I don't know why more air is making my fire go down, but I'm gonna switch it right back to all the way closed. And we'll see if this thing opens back up again. So, I don't know. Hopefully this will help some of you guys out. Um, I did a lot of searching on the internet to see how to get this thing running. I hope it will heat this space. It's, I bought this old pole barn. It's not insulated very well. There's so many air gaps. Um, but I think this thing is rated for, what, 68? thousand BTU or something like that um, hopefully it'll heat this space so hopefully I helped um, good luck and uh, hope you can get some heat going